Describe gravity. Learning is fun with K-12 lessons. Don't forget to subscribe! The theory of gravity was proposed by Sir Isaac Newton in 1687 in his book Principia Mathematica. He saw an apple falling from a tree, and it got him thinking about the mysterious force that pulls objects to the ground. Newton named this mysterious force, gravity. Gravity puts all things on Earth and the universe in order. Cars, water in the ocean, rocks, houses, tables, chairs, plates, appliances, and other things stayed on its place. They do not float away. Gravity helps keep the planets orbiting around the sun, and moons revolving around the planets. Objects that are thrown upward on Earth eventually fall down. This is because the Earth is exerting an attractive force on us and to all things around us. Without gravity, everything on the Earth's surface will float in the atmosphere, just like astronauts floating in their spaceship. While traveling in the outer space, sun, planets and other heavenly bodies in the solar system will bump at each other. Stones thrown upward will never fall down. Determine if gravity is acting on the object from the pictures. Is gravity acting on the car that falls off a cliff? Is gravity acting on the astronaut experiencing weightlessness in space? Activity 1. The Fall. After this simple activity, you will be able to describe gravity. You will need any handy object, a ball, a notebook, a small stone or a crumpled paper. Raise the object at a certain height. Quickly release the object. Observe what happens to the object. Quickly release the object two more times and observe. Using the same object, throw it upward. Observe what happens to the object. Throw the object upward two more times and observe. What happened to the object when it was released? It fell to the ground. It floated in the air. What happened to the object after it was thrown upward? It flew up and eventually falls after some time. It flew all the way into the air and never fell back. Based on the two activities, what was common and what happened to the objects? The objects fell to the ground. The objects stayed in the air. Why did the objects behave the way they did in the two activities? Gravity pulls the object downward. Air pulls the object downward. How do you describe gravity? Gravity is a force that pulls objects towards each other. Gravity is a force that keeps objects float in the air. In activity 1, whether the object is dropped or thrown upward, the object tends to go back to the ground. There is a force that pulls all objects towards the ground. This force is called gravity or also known as the gravitational force. Gravity is a force of attraction that exists between any two objects. 
This gravitational force between the two objects acts towards each other. The two objects are attracting or pulling one another towards each other. Also, there is a gravitational force between Earth and us. Between two people, between two marbles, and even between two atoms or particles. Tell whether the statements are true or false. All objects on Earth fall towards the center of the Earth. Gravity is the attraction of two objects towards each other. Gravitational force on Earth pulls all things on Earth downward. An object remains on air when it is thrown upward. Gravity only affects solid objects. Write against if the picture illustrates moving against gravity, and towards, otherwise. What I have learned. Complete the following statements by choosing the word that best completes the following sentences. I learned that, gravity, air, as a force that pulls all objects downward are towards the center of the earth. Gravity is a force of, attraction, repulsion, that exists between two objects which act towards each other. Earth's, mass, gravity, keeps us in all objects on the ground. Gravity is a force, energy, that affects all objects in the universe. Why does a ball thrown into the air tend to fall back to the ground? Gravity causes the ball to fall. The air pulls the ball to the ground. What is the direction towards which objects on Earth are pulled by the Earth? Side. Center. In order to jump, what force do we need to overcome? Friction. Gravity. Which will happen if a ball is thrown upward? The ball will go back to the ground. The ball continues to move upward. To which direction should the force be applied to overcome the force of gravity? Upward. Downward.
Imagine the Earth lost its gravity. What will happen to objects on it? All objects will float in the air. Only the lighter objects will float in the air. Which of the following keeps all objects on Earth stay on the ground? Gravity. Mass. Who discovered gravity when he saw an apple falling to the ground? Galileo Galilei. Isaac Newton. Gravity affects all objects in the universe. True. False. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe!